Hey guys, welcome to the video. So, another busy day. Sun's out, look at this. Beautiful. We've been waiting weeks and weeks for this. So, um, we're getting on it. I've got to take the jumper off though because I'm bloody boiling. Have a look at this grass. It's well tall. I literally did it two weeks ago and you won't believe how much it's grown in two weeks. It's just insane. This has put on some serious growth. So, um, I've just gone around with the strimmer, done all the edges, all around the sides. And we've got Andy on the mower, on the hater on the other side. So I'm going to leave Andy doing that and then um, I'm going to get my good old little Honda Izzy out and uh, mow the bit in the front. And when I first got this Honda Izzy, I wanted to do like a little review on it and I haven't done a review. So I'm going to do a review on this mower once I've just used it over here. I've used it a few times, but I want to give my honest opinion on it and what I really think of it. Would I recommend this mower to beginner gardeners? Is it any good? Do you jump straight to a roller mower? Do you prefer a four wheel mower? Let's get it out, test it, and then I'll let you guys know what I think. So before I get too engrossed in this, I'm just gonna like walk you around the mower and show you what's what. So this is the mower. I picked it up for a hundred quid off a mate. He was selling it on Marketplace, but I nabbed it off him first. So it's a Honda Izzy. We've got a height adjuster on the front for the front two wheels. And then we've got one on the back for the back two wheels. It's got standard air filter here. And then obviously the uh, fuel line, which is an on and off. Petrol goes in here and it says easy start. And it really is an easy start. This one's particularly good, Nick. It's got a tiny little hole in the corner there, but otherwise the grass box is pretty mint. It has got a self-propelled cable. See, that's, that's the one you push when you've got the mower running, and then the orange one is the self-propel. So um, the only thing I would say is that the self-propel's a little bit slow on this. To be honest, you're better probably just pushing the mower. Have a look at this guys. So I've done it on a short setting and that's just this section here and this little bit. But look how well it's cut. It's not bad is it? So if you're new to garden maintenance and you're looking for a cheap reliable mower, have a look on Marketplace, have a look on eBay because there are bargains out there. This was a hundred quid, it is a bargain. And it's a really decent little mower and it'll do you a turn, you know. I've bought this as a rough cut mower because I use my hater most of the time because all my customers are got to have the stripes. <laughs> Everyone likes the stripes, but um, you know, I've got this for rainy days. It, it does the job really well. So, um, but I highly recommend the Honda Izzy. Decent little mower. And if you can pick it up for a hundred quid, 150 quid, you got yourself a bargain. As you've probably seen, I've got my shorts on as well today. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. I've got the legs out. Got the legs out, mate. Got the leg tats out. This is my favorite one. Get in, loser. Pretty cool, that. Do you know what? All of these tattoos on my legs, that one was done by an apprentice. That was free. That was free. Free. That was free. And that. Not bad for freebies, hey? So that's this job done now. And he's done a brilliant job there. He's done all this. He's done that side. He's done a little bit in front of that U hedge over there. And then he's rough cut in the back there, but that's just a rough cut, so you don't need to see that. But uh, yeah, it's, it's looking banging, mate. It's looking really good. Right, next job, another grass cut. Look at the length of it, mate. We've got all of this and then into the back. And this is the back. 
So we're gonna go over this twice and give it a nice blitz. Literally, it was only cut two weeks ago, but that's some good length, isn't it? It's like a field. It's gonna look like Wembley when we're done. Right, Andy's taken over on the mower. He doesn't want to be on film. I totally respect that, that's cool. But I've got him back on the mower. He's gonna finish that off. Then he's gonna go over the back garden again and give that another once over. So that's a bit shorter. Because it was so long, we had to do it on a high setting first. And then we're gonna take it down a few notches and then just make it nice and tidy. So he's gonna do that for me. I've done all the strimming and now I'm gonna do a bit more sort of what I call detail work. So like at the front of the house, we're gonna do a bit of weeding. Cause like I say, it's presentation. It's the first thing people see when they come into the driveway. And I want it to look nice. So. Um, as, as well as having nice lawns, it's good to have like a, a nice kind of weed free driveway as well. So um, I know weed killers are good, but I don't have any weed killer at the minute. So I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way with my um, weeding tool, I'm hands and knees, and uh, we're gonna smash it and make it look good. So this is what I mean, there's loads of weeds like in the crevices and um, around the pots here. So I wanna get all that nice and tidy. There's a few bits under the tree there. here like this you can see weeds start to pop up so we're just going to get them out and make it look nice and tidy All these weeds here came out the driveway. That's insane. So I've weeded all that, weeded under here. I've left the bluebells because they're doing their thing and I've weeded all under here and around there. And just along the front here and under there. Just So this area, when you first pull in in the drive, obviously it's the first thing you see, so I want it to look tidy. Left the daffodils for obvious reasons. The goodness goes back into the bowl, but uh, yeah, amazing. So before I go, one of my subscribers actually said to me, Pete, I'm starting a business in a year's time. Could you do a little chat about money? And I think I have in a previous video, like I can't remember which one, but it was back then. Anyway, so I thought I'd just do like a recap for anyone that's new to gardening and just getting into it and you want a rough idea of how I charge. You don't have to do it the same way, but this is just how I do it. So, I've got a tiny little garden, 
um, actually have a look at it, it's this one here. So that's my back garden. So a gar let's say an average garden is that size, right? So a little garden like mine, I would say that's a get in, get out. This is what I would class as on mobile o go. So I would go in, stream around the edges, put some stripes in it, have a little blow around, jobs are good and 30 quid. You know, I could do half a dozen of them in a day and make two, 300 quid, happy days. It's That's a good day's money. You'd have to do quite a few of them to make up that kind of figure, two, 300 quid, but you can do. If you can get them all close together, you can smash them out. It's doable, mate. It's more than doable. I like the bigger ones as well. So the bigger ones that I do, I class as an hourly rate. And the reason I do that is because they want a little bit of everything. They don't want just a mobile logo. They want nice trimming round edges properly. They want all their flower beds detailed. They want weeding. They want brambles taken out. They want shrubs taken care of and shaped up. They might want planting put in. They might want things taken out. So I do hourly rates for those. If it's a big client or a big job that I know is going to be every week, all year round, they have a set hourly rate or a day rate. It just works better. So um, that's what I do for that anyway. So big jobs, hourly rate, small ones like mine, mobile go, get in, get out. So yeah, hopefully that helps you out, mate. I know it's going to be different. Everyone does it slightly differently. Um, we could talk invoicing as well. So when it comes to invoicing, like some customers want an invoice and some don't. I would say 90% of my work that I do, 90% of my customers are quite happy with me to just to send them a text and go, hi, Mr. Smith, I've done five hours today. There was two of us, that's 10 man hours at such and such. This is how much I'm owed. And they go, all right, thanks, Pete. Diddle, diddle, diddle. We'll do a bank transfer in the morning. You know, it's that easy. I don't, I don't, so I don't invoice everybody, but one or two do like an invoice and I use an app called Invoices that is on App Store or uh, Google Play Store, whatever their version of it is. I don't know because I'm an Apple guy. So I use that and I can just input, again, hourly rate, service, what I've done, blah, 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 blah. And it just, it you can print it out. You can either send it as the invoice as an email and they will get it directly or as a text message, or you can print it out and send it to them in the post if you want to. But, um, yeah, it's really good. It's a really good app. I think I'd pay like £69 a year for it, but it's a really good app. Oh yeah, before I go, I just want to say a special mention to two people. I met two of my subscribers this week. Uh, Paul Goodchild, met you on your bike outside my old house. I was going over there to see my son because it was his 16th birthday and I was just dropping in a little uh, card and present for him. So I saw Paul. That was really nice. Nice to meet you, mate. Again, thank you for your continued support. It means the absolute world. And I also want to say a thank you to the chap who came around and took the combi off me. I was going to sell it, but then it just packed up and I couldn't get a bloody thing working. So I said to him, mate, you can just have it, you know. Um, and he's a local guy as well. So he's actually now friends with me on Facebook and I want to keep in touch with him. His name's Danny. Really awesome to meet you, mate. You're an awesome guy. And um, yeah, hopefully we can do some filming together in the future. I'd really like that. It'd be flipping cool, mate. So um so yeah, if you guys are new here to the Tattoo Gardener, it would mean the absolute world if you could smash that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell, because that will tell you when I've uploaded to the channel. And if you like the video, give it a big fat thumbs up. And if you've got any comments or questions or anything, then obviously get it in below and I'll do my best to try and help you or answer your questions for you. So have a great rest of the week, guys. I'll be back with a couple of hopefully shorts videos this week and I might throw up another one at the end of the week as well. So um Listen, have a great week. Go on and earn loads of money. The sun's shining. Make the most of it because you know what this British weather's like. It's an absolute pain in the arse at times. So um, go out there, smash it, send it. Have a great time and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great week, guys. Peace out.